Hey guys, in last week's video you saw that we competed in Corsair Nationals. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check that one out. And while we were competing in the races, the committee boat was that really nice looking trawler, the red one called Roseate. My favorite kind of bird. And we got to become friends with the owner of the boat named Charlie, and he invited us over to show us the boat. So we got a full tour, and it was one of the most unique trawlers I've ever seen. Him and his brothers built it over four years. They had some outside help laying up the hull, and then towards the end of the project, they had some outside help kind of finishing off the inside of the boat. It's just a beautiful boat, pretty unique, and yeah, what do you think of it? So you know what they say, once you go cat, you never go back. However, once a trawler owner, always a trawler lover. Come on, isn't that good saying? I just made it up. <laughs> we, we're on the water like these cool unique boats that we seem to catch our eye. So especially these cool looking trawlers. It's just so cool to, to, to meet Charlie. Charlie gave us a bunch of spots to check out along our trip. He grew up in Sarasota, so he, he knows that area w really well. And he's done a ton of cruising. So thank you so much, Charlie, for giving us a tour of the boat and letting us hang out and, and showing us all these awesome spots. And uh, for telling us all about how they built the because it was really cool to hear how some of the wood in there was like taken from their, like, their family's house and it was mill milled by them and one of the pine trees is the oldest pine tree in history and I don't know the biggest pine tree in history right? Yeah it was yellow pine and yeah I don't know it's in the video you guys will see. So we hope you guys enjoy let us know what you think in the comments and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything from us in the future. Oh Ooh, it's so pretty! Wow! Whoa. Go on down. Can I explore? Yeah, I just repainted the shower stall. It, the paint's given up after 15 years. What kind of paint did you use for this the interior? probably all grip. Okay. Remember. We have the same oven in our camper. Oh yeah? It works great. Um, I mean, the thermostat isn't perfect. But I just repainted that. And that's it's, so good. There's, you're looking for a cabin there. I got a... Wow, so much room in here. Well, I got awesome. a new bow thruster. My bow thruster is on the fritz after 15 years. You push right and it goes right. You push left and it goes right. <laughs> oh, does this, this make you miss a trawler? A little bit, yeah. Look at all the space. Yeah, look at it's all standing headroom, no crouching. <laughs> yeah. I mean, our, our new boat will be like that, but our current boat is not like that. Wow, look at that. Beautiful woodwork. Yeah. What is this, all this wood? That's cypress. Cypress. North Florida, that's river recovered cypress. Really? Uh, sunk in the Apalachicola River 100 years ago. They logged them, and the dense logs would sink. And they, now they find them with sonar, and they sit the diver down, and they pull them up. And uh, this is river recovered cypress. Wow, that's amazing. And then what kind of finish on it? I just varnish. Okay. It's, pro it's probably a polyurethane. Who milled it and everything? My brother. Oh, wow. Pull this down. Oh, look at all that extra space. And that comes up. So if you got two kids, you can put them here. Oh, nice. Cool. And this is, could just be storage or whatever? Well, it's a wine locker. Oh, all right. Awesome. All the liquor is gone, but... <laughs> and that's all cypress. Well, this is fat pine. Okay. Yellow, southern yellow pine. This was from the biggest pine tree, the grandfather pine tree that was at my grandfather's house right down here. Oh. Right where you saw the rosettes. Uh -huh. And when he died, my grandma sold it. And there's this big pine tree there. And my daddy always told me, that's the biggest pine tree there is. And it took three people to reach around it. It was at an elevation about this far above high tide. Uh -huh. And when my grandma sold it, uh, the developer came in. And it, you got to get a tree guy if you're going to take trees out. And the tree guy came and got all worked up and called Tallahassee. And they sent down a forestry guy. And it was the biggest pine tree on record. Whoa. And it died. And it died, okay. Well, it was 175 years old. Oh, man. And so while they were developing, it was still alive, and they, it had pine borders. And so they put, they drilled down into the root system and put some medicine down there. But it's still 15 years later, it died, and it was old. That's and crazy. so we got the tree. <laughs> and did, how did you get it? Like, did you contact them? Like, you no, they called my brother, who is a partner in this boat and a builder. But that tree's got to come out. 
tree was dead at that point. All the sap. Now, yellow pine is a hardwood? Uh, the hard is. This is what they make turpentine out of. Whoa. Go on down. Your bed is so... Can you get in from both sides? No, nope, but uh -huh. you don't need to because it's so big. Wow. This is so cool. Plus, you get cool. the pleasure of crawling over your partner. Yeah. <laughs> inside person. Well, we know that too well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't sound excited about that. <laughs> oh, in the middle of the night? <laughs> My dripless shaft seal is starting to leak after 6,000 hours. Whoa. So we gotta, we're pulling out on the 15th. I'm going to replace that seal and replace my bow thruster and do a bottom job. That's so cool. Well, you guys did an amazing job. Yeah, this look, look at all this cabinetry and wood. Now, like this that. cabinetry is Raymond Marshall, a guy when we were getting hung up halfway through the project, about a year and a half from finish, uh, my, my, we could see we were over our heads. Uh-huh. And... Uh, so Pat called, Pat the contractor, called Covey Island Boatworks that had built one of this design, only it was shorter. We, it was designed at 41 feet. We stretched it to 44. And so he called Covey Island and said, hey, it's December. You got anybody that wants to come down to Florida for the summer and work? No. And he said, no, <laughs> we need all our guys. Call Hannah at the Nova Scotia Boat Builders Association, which is a state-sponsored uh, union okay. for boat builders. They want to preserve that industry in Nova Scotia. Oh, that's awesome. And so we called Hannah oh, and she said, well, what do you need? And Pat told her where we are and she says, I think you need a systems and finish guy. And I think I may have the guy for you. And so we called Raymond and we bought him a plane ticket and he flew down from Nova Scotia and we eyeballed him and he eyeballed us and, and it was a match made in heaven <laughs> and he came in here that when he got here basically the floors were in all the bulkheads were in they put the bulkheads in when we were building it and when they were glassing it engine was in tanks were in but that was about it and so the first thing Raymond did was he talked to us about each section and he drew he drew it all out and then he drew a schematic on the on the plans we had a full set of plans where everything was gonna go, all the uh, hot water, cold water, fresh water, salt water, oh. 220 volts, 110 volts, 12 volts, 24 volts. We got 24 volts for the main system, but then some of the electronics are 12. They stepped down to 12. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Wow. That now, I wanna show you some spots you ought to go to. What are the floors made out of? Cork. That, I thought that was cork. Cork over plywood. The dollar a square at, at uh, Home Depot. And then what do you do? Varnish over? No, that's 610. Epoxy. Oh, okay. Flexible epoxy. Oh, like a G Flex type? G Flex. Okay, yeah. 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 It's, oh, neat. Yeah. Just so that if the cork flex, the epoxy well, it won't flexes crack. a little bit, you drop something on it. And it's still, I mean, this is 15 years of hard abuse. Wow. It looks good. This boat's got almost 6,000 hours on it. What made you do the floor's cork? It was cheap and easy. Okay. <laughs> That's great. And this is the same cork. Oh, yeah. That looks really good. Now, I just varnished that. Okay, it's var epoxy and varnish? Uh, I don't know if we put a... I don't remember if we put epoxy on that. That may be just the varnish because it doesn't get the abuse that the floor gets. Right. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. We hope you enjoyed it. And go check out the tool shop because we just got some new gear in. UPF long sleeve shirts with the Wave logo in black and white as well as black and colored. Show them your back. It is getting super hot down here in Florida and I hope it is wherever you are too. So protect your skin. Can, uh, they, can they see And it? sunny, yeah. Summer's coming, yep. And the next new product in is floating sunglass holders with so, corks they come in a pack of two each one has the tula wave logo lasered engraved as well as the tula, tula nautical flag logo pretty cool this is the same item um we mentioned in our christmas gift giving guide and now we have them with our own brand on it with our own logo on it which is cool so never lose your sunglasses to the deep depths of the ocean again because now they will float. Next video, we will be sailing down the west coast of Florida. Thank you guys as always for watching and make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you next time.